Apart from using scene objects to create basic structures, World of Wonder also has loads of gameplay devices. Combining different types of devices can help you create different gameplay. Currently, there are five types of gameplay device. General device, racing device, battle royale device, arena device, and PvE device. Each type of device can be used to create different types of gameplay and is a crucial part of creating a custom battleground. So, let's learn how to make use of gameplay devices. Gameplay devices are usually triggered by transmitting and receiving signals. We'll use the spawn point device and item issuance device as examples. After setting up the gameplay device, tap the parameters icon to enter the device's parameter editing page. Tap the signal related parameters column to set up the device's signal. First of all, set Transmit Signal Upon Player Spawning under the Spawn Point Device as Signal 1 and tap the Save button. In Item Issuance Device settings, also set Issue Items Upon Receiving Signal as Signal 1 and configure the items. In the Simple Parameter settings, we can set it up to give a backpack, helmet, armor and more to players. After setting it all up, we can save and test out the battleground to check that the gameplay devices are working. When the game begins or players respawn, players will respawn according to the spawn point device. When this happens, the spawn point device will generate signal 1, which the item issuance device then receives. Players can automatically receive supplies from the device. This way, we can make use of two gameplay devices to complete a simple gameplay mechanic. So, that's the demonstration. Did you get all that? Lastly, we will summarize the principle behind how gameplay devices trigger. When the signal that's transmitted and received between two devices is the same, the receiving device will trigger. Of course, we can set up multiple gameplay devices to transmit and receive the same signal. The process of transmitting signals is imperceptible to players, but once you understand the logic of transmitting and receiving signals, it will be easier to set up other devices. That's a wrap for the gameplay device introduction for World of Wonder. For more details, be sure to check out the in-game World of Wonder wiki.